So I'm outside of EXO where there's a uh, poke contest going on and the three chefs have prepared like a poke bowl, each one of them preparing a different style of poke. And so we, we have the uh, Filipino barbecue here. We have the um, avocado and we have an explosive poke. So I'm just gonna give it a try and see what I think and then we're supposed to vote on the one that we like best and they're gonna tally up the results and let us know who won. So this is the uh, Filipino barbecue. Even though it's fish, it has a really meaty flavor that's um, really unusual and it's um, really good. Uh, you wouldn't expect fish to taste like meat, but it really does. Next, I'm gonna try the avocado, which um, if they didn't say the name was avocado, I wouldn't know because it, it's not that obvious. It doesn't have like the big chunks that you usually see. Mm. It's um, really creamy good. Um, I like avocado to begin with. So um, that tastes really good to me. So you'd think explosive would be red, but this one is really yellow. Um, in spite of the name, it's not that spicy. Well, um, there's some parts that's spicy because my first bite wasn't spicy, but the um, end of it was. This one is really unusual. Um, it's kind of hard to say what the flavor is. All right, so two nights ago on a whim, I decided to buy a whole ahi, so we bought one, 54 pounds. It took me three hours to butcher it, and then we had three of our kitchen guys make different flavors. So we have one, two, and three. We, we keep it random, I mean not random, but blind, so people don't know who they're voting for. So clearly three is winning right now. So yeah, after, after we run out of this fish, which will be tonight, we're getting another fish. And then the two losers are gonna have to make two new flavors and then it'll constantly rotate like that so right now the avocado this world is winning oh what are the other two uh this one is filipino barbecue and then this one is explosive poke okay avocado this world i'll tell you why later because <laughs> there was a hair in it no <laughs> Oh, I've never made a poke. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just went into the cupboard and I picked a lot of ingredients that I put on a table. Uh -huh. And then I just started mixing things together that I felt like using. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I ended up with my sauce. Oh, <laughs> so what was in it? Uh, sesame oil, milk powder, butter, ginger scallion garlic. Uh, Dijon mustard, puffed mustard seeds, uh, green, green onion, white onion, what else? So it was just kind of random? Uh, I kind of started with the milk powder first and uh -huh. I kept putting stuff on top of that. Oh, oh my 11. Yeah. You really did it like food contest style with the random ingredient kind of stuff. Yeah. Then. yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't spend too much time. I just go in there and I just make something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the in the beginning, uh -huh. I was getting destroyed uh -huh. because I didn't have enough acid, so the votes were like uh -huh. like 6, 6 and then 0 on mine. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> so you added And then acid. and then like right in the middle of service, like uh -huh. right at 5 o'clock yesterday, uh -huh. there was like 20 people just yeah. mobbing in for the poke bowls. Uh -huh. And I wasn't getting any votes, so uh -huh. So in the middle of everyone in the room over here, I just ran back there and I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then my vote started pouring in. Oh, that's good. So I think if mine was like good from the beginning, I uh -huh. would be better off. But, oh, okay. But like, but you didn't taste it till before you put it out. I tasted it, but okay. I like. 
I guess it wasn't acidic enough. So the, whoever wins, they're just gonna stay, and then the two losers have to make new ones. So the new one will, or the, the winner will always be there, and then like over time, it'll just keep getting better because the winner will eventually lose. So yeah. My, my poke tomorrow is gonna be called Dil Dobo. Okay. It's dil Dobo. <laughs> dil Dobo. Okay. <laughs> it's a Filipino barbecue. Yeah. You know, it just, if, if you think about poke, it leads oh, fat know. first, and then umami, and then followed by acids or astringencies to balance it out. But usually it's sesame oil or mayonnaise. I wanted to go with a different type of fat that understands your tongue in the same way. So it needed to be something a little bit more saturated, a little bit more either like pork lard or like in this case I have wagyu fat that was cured and it was just in the freezer already. So we led with that. I had some black lime puree as well to balance out the acidity and then to add a little bit more depth was uh, black garlic which is you know like fermented for like about three weeks. And so just and some other elements like charred, charred green onion to add to add umami as well as like that savoriness. And I ate it and then it was funny because it tastes like beef. Yeah, that's what it, I said. It tastes like beef, but it's ahi. Right. So the fact that it was a study in being able to explore how fat for a dish can be can actually change your entire perception of it. Yeah. It so it was it was fun at the yeah, very least. Yeah. Fun to taste because it's like wait, this tastes like steak. <laughs> it does taste like steak, but you're eating ahi. That's the best part, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so if you can do that to the fish, maybe you can make vegetables taste like steak and then more people will be vegetarian. <laughs> uh, flavored fats is definitely an element that makes a big difference in your perception of of flavor. It was just one of many, many things. Yeah. But in this case, that was like the, the strand that needed to be delved into. Yeah. And then I, yeah, once I ate it, it brought me back to like when I was with my uncles as a kid and they killed a cow a couple hours ago. They're barbecuing some fat and then they're also cutting like kilawun. And then just you're just eating it in like wamanalo, you know what I mean? They killed the cow themselves? Yeah! Oh my god. Of course, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. It's, it's one of those things when you're a little kid. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I guess, I guess this. my childhood. Oh. I guess for, for Filipino boys. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so are you still you kind of winning? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Or you pretty much won already because you guys almost out, right? Yeah, um, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Uh -huh. and, um, yeah, I know. It's like sort of like an accomplishment, and I felt like. It's like a learning process, you just kind of figure things out. It's really great. So what made you go with like the avocado? I wanted to do... My original idea was to first go for something uh, related to like California poke. It's my favorite type of poke to eat. Every time I go food land, and I used to work for times, I'd always like snack on it. So I kind of want that approach and I thought like I wanted mine to be kind of creamy but not using too much mayo. So avocado came to mind. And the pairing with bacon, um, Kenny actually helped me figure that out because I was going to use like dried shrimp and crab paste but he made a statement saying people who are allergic to shellfish won't be able to enjoy it and bacon has a lot of flavor into it and I'll call it bacon like hand in hand so I kind of went with that route. Oh, okay, well thank you and thank congratulations. You. Thanks. One cheese and one regular. One cheese yes. and one meat. How do you know which one is which? Um, two on the bottom were the meat, he said, because they're stuck together. Yeah. Oh, they okay. okay. Identical. That makes sense. Okay, let's try this. All right. <laughs> let's do a, to do a toast first. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Which one you got? Very good. Meat one. Oh, oh, both of you did meat? Yep. <laughs> it's very crisp. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pour it. Hold on. Oh, it's also really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta, yeah, watch it gotta watch it with the I cheese one. You gotta watch it with the cheese one. Should I even try the cheese one? <laughs> it may be really hot. But it's only gonna be melty if it's hot. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, it's not too hot. It's not too bad. Let's we'll switch. Mm. It's hot though. <laughs> Oh, there we have it. Yes. And you got the good part. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's good, though. It's like a, what you call that? I like those uh, other... Like catch-22, like, it's going to be stringy when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> but that's when it's good. Yeah, that's when burn. it's good. But then you get burned. You want some more? I'll take it after. I'm going back to the meat one for now. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Are good. you It's good. It's not what I expected, but it's really good. Uh-huh. Are you, are you sorry you waited this long to try it? <laughs> yes. Yes. But I had to wait till Friday to get here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because she's still working. Yes, I'm still working in office. Yeah. So what do you think of the meat one? Um, I really like it. It's uh, the texture you get uh -huh. right away. It's mm -hmm. very, uh, you get all the different components in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of almost like I feel like almost eating like a lup chung kind of sausage, oh, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of nice, it but it's easy to eat. It's not like a super super firm kind of oh. sausage. So. And yeah, then you get that crispy like a, outside. Kind of like a pork breakfast sausage. A little bit, yeah. but it tastes a lot better. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't tell him what we're doing. Actually, we're getting waffle dog, so he didn't oh. know what to expect. Oh, so now that you, <laughs> so when you heard that, Good surprise. Yeah, when you heard that, were you like, what the hell? Uh. Not really, because she knows I pretty much eat anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's a good surprise. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>